morning with plenty of people. Today we will be talking about different kinds of mediums to use to root. I guess uh, in my case I did pothos. I normally root my pothos in water, which I have an example of that here. But I was curious to see if I could use different mediums of propagation um, besides water. And I will be showing um, a perlite medium, which I have here. And I also threw in uh, vermiculite in this one. And I put these, I put a date, actually it's been since February 8th that they have been in these kind of mediums. And it looks like it's been over a month, so today's March 13th. So yeah, it's been over four weeks and um, as you can see they're still alive so it's not that bad but I've been dying to see if they can actually root and we, I will be sharing that experience with you guys so I can't wait. Um, I'll go ahead and start with the water. These have all been in this kind of medium since February 8th and we'll start with the water and let's see what that looks like oh okay oh i hope i don't snap it off oh wow okay guys so this is the roots for water you can see nice and healthy which i did expect i've rooted pothos in water before there you go oh you can see it way better up close and there's three roots and another one growing here so Let's go, let's just jump into the next one. The next one I have here is perlite. Okay, and I just kept them in, I, I didn't spray them or anything. I just wetted the, the perlite in here. And um, since February 8th, I have not watered it or anything. And I just kept it in that um, plastic bag to keep the, the moisture in. Oh. Okay, and it, oh, I have two in here. So it looks like it did, it did actually root the, it actually did give a root and it looks pretty good as well. I'm actually surprised. I didn't expect it to be this big. So that's one and this is the perlite medium. I am very pleased, which I can't believe that that actually worked and here's the next cutting that I did in perlite and this one's okay it's not like as big as the other one sorry this one's a little harder to see it does have two three little roots going they're way smaller than the other ones you guys can see that yeah okay so this one did pretty good. I can't complain. I can actually already pot these and make it into a new little plant. So I'll put these here together. And then my next cutting that I did is in vermiculite, which you know normally you use for seedlings. And I did the same thing. I left it in the plastic bag at the same time. As that one and I can already see the roots in here you guys can see this big guy here so I, I could I cheated on this one I, since the cup is clear I could see that it is actually rooting but I'm gonna go ahead and actually take it out of the vermiculite and there's also two cuttings in here Oh, it looks like they blended themselves together. This root is insane, you guys. I actually, they're holding on to each other. I hope they don't break. I'm not sure. There we go. So both of these cuttings in the vermiculite are huge. Pretty thick. I would say thicker than usual. <laughs> which is a little extreme, but I am very pleased and surprised with the results of the vermiculite. I've actually rooted other plants in 
these kind of mediums, but not pothos. So um, I want to say that the best results, this is the water, water propagation. Let me show you again. This is the water propagation. Which is not bad. It, it always roots pretty good. And this is the vermiculite. As you can see, the roots are way thicker. They root it a lot thicker than the water ones. So I want to say this is the perlite. Still pretty good, but I think overall the one that wins the most, the best rooting way would be vermiculite for some reason. So now you guys know that there is other ways to root your pothos. You don't have to be scared. You just, what I did is just damp the medium. So if you want to try it, um, you just wet the vermiculite in water. Squeeze out the excess water and then just lightly drizzle. Put a little bit of uh, vermiculite on the bottom, then the plant, and then you just cover it the rest, but do not squish in because you don't want it to be too tight in there. And um, now I can have a new plant with these pretty rooted cuttings that I have here. And um, just I just for fun, I wanted to see if I could root also another, a different species of plant. And I do have here a syngonium cutting that I put in vermiculite. I was just curious to see if it would root as well in vermiculite. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Look at that, you guys. Oh my God. The roots are insane. They're coming out from here. All of this is rooted. So let me go ahead and take off the vermiculite so you guys could see this insane roots. Oh my goodness. So this cutting I took around the same time, February 8th, so it's been rooting in there since then and I wanted to see if I could do different species and lo and behold there you go so there you have it folks there is definitely a different way of rooting your plants this was so much fun I wanted to do this video for a while now but I I didn't get a chance to but um there you have it, vermiculite. I would say vermiculite is a very good way of rooting your plants. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys next time. Have a good day. Thank you, bye.